Hey guys, what's up? It's around 7-ish in Alaska. So anyways, um, let's talk about a happiness. What makes you happy? You ever thought about that? You know, a lot of people think that happiness comes from being in a relationship. Happiness comes from having materialistic things. Happiness comes from having a lot of something, you know, and happiness comes from money and happiness comes from having a nice car. Happiness comes from a nice house. Happiness comes from all these false perceptions that people have, but happiness comes from within yourself. You know, you can have all the materialistic things in the world and you can be freaking miserable, you know? I'm not saying don't have those things. I'm not saying that either. I'm just saying you have to be happy within yourself, with yourself first in order to be happy with somebody else, you know? And buying stuff, like if you have stuff, you have a whole bunch of stuff, let's say, after you buy it, the stuff just sits there anyways, right? So happiness comes from within yourself. Do you know what makes me happy? Having a roof over my head, having food on my table, being healthy, taking care of my health, and taking care of my mind, body, and soul. You know, and having a balance in my life, that's what makes me happy. You know, things and materialistic things don't make me happy. Do they have, did they make me happy in the past? Yes. I had to lose everything to find out who I was and what I liked it, you know. And I didn't even know a lot of people were in competition with me secretly. But I was never competition with anybody. I'm always in competition with myself, with my old self. Do you understand? So don't compete with the anybody. Only compete with yourself, I'm saying, you know. And once you do that, this is how you feel. Rising above. Rising above. You you, you rise you rise above after you do the work on yourself from your healing. You know, I mean, nobody has an easy life. We've all been through some shit. So healing the past, you know, healing the past is so important. And sometimes healing the past is just letting go and starting all over again, you know? Accepting what happened. Accepting what happened and letting it go. Because guys, if you don't let it go, it turns into cancer. It turns into a disease. So please let it go. And take care of yourself. You must love yourself in order to take care of yourself. You know? And hearing messages from spirit. Yes, you will hear messages from spirit. You all hear messages from spirit. Many hear things in nature, you know. It's so important. But my main thing that I'm trying to say is happiness comes within yourself. No man or woman that's going to come in your life is going to make you happy. I'm going to tell you a story. You know, before in the past, I would see people getting married in my family. I thought that that would make me happy. So I rushed into a marriage that I didn't even know the person. And then I when, and I thought that person would make me happy, but he didn't make me happy. He made my life miserable, as a matter of fact. I was good on my own, and he ruined my life. But I'm okay now, though, because I picked myself up. But he tried to ruin my life. But my point was, I was able to understand what happiness was. He was not my happiness. I have to be my own happiness. Because people come and go. You don't know. Nothing is permanent. Everything is temporary, you know. You must be happy within yourself. You must be comfortable with yourself. You know, a lot of people when I go to work, they say, well, what you do this week? I go, well, I went out. Well, who'd you go with? Nobody. So you go out eating by yourself? 
you go shopping by yourself and, and you go eat to restaurants by yourself? Yeah, because I love myself. Why do I need company? And in the past, when I had company, it was sore loser company. They were always jealous of me. And in the past, I would always have to pay for them too. Always. Like, literally always. So now, I pay for myself only. Mm -hmm. That's my boundary now. Unless it's family or it's my significant other, that's fine, but... Or if there's an occasion, whatever, but I'm not paying for any of my new friends. I don't really give a fuck. No, I'm not. You pay for you, I pay for me. I'm 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 not doing this. I'm gonna buy you something, you buy me something. I'm I, I'm done with that. Friendship should not be a business contract. Any relationship should not be a business contract. If you wanna buy something for somebody, go ahead and do it in a nice way. But don't expect them to do it for you back. You know, and not that I expected them to do that for me back. They took advantage of my kindness. They thought, they thought my kindness, they took my kindness from my weakness. And guess what? I left them all. And that's the best thing I ever did. I discovered myself, my new new. And now they're angry because I left them. I left them all. I left all my friends, which were not really even my friends. I left my home. I left my family, I left everybody and I came here to start all over again. And now they're mad. I don't care. Be mad. But, you know, they might think I'm alone. I'm never alone, guys. You're never alone either. Angels are always with you. God is always with you, you know? So I was guided right now to make this message that happiness comes from within yourself. Nobody's going to make you happy. I don't care if you marry a billion trillionaire. It doesn't mean just because that person has money, he's going to make you happy. Who's going to make you happy is you yourself. You have to be happy before you get into any relationship. Money cannot buy love, guys, for real. It can't. Yep. And people just run after these materialistic things. They run after, what can he do for me? What can she do for me? That's a bunch of bullshit. Because if you're looking for somebody and you're thinking, what can he do for me? Then you shouldn't be with that person. Shame on you. You know, you have to love them for who they are. Not for what they have. Yeah, thanks for listening.